What's up you guys, it's Charles for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a search bar in your HTML website. Okay, so now to begin creating your search bar for your website, what you need to do is create your uh, HTML document. Now, to really learn how to create that HTML document, you can click a link right here. And this link will bring you to a video I just did uh, a couple days ago, and that'll basically teach you how to create a button in, um, H in your HTML website. But it goes over how to set up the web page and everything else. So always when you're going to start an HTML document, you type open bracket, HTML, and bracket. And whenever you start a tag in HTML, you need to end a tag. So now to end a tag, you type bracket, slash, HTML, and that ends it. So now in the middle, we're just going to type body, and again, we have to end it. So now in the middle of this, what we're going to type is called the DIV class. Now, um, to create a DIV class, all you need to do is type open bracket uh, div space class equals quote search and the whole point in creating a div class is so that later on when you want to change the colors of it and you want to change the look of it then um, in CSS you could just um, use the search word search that we put under uh, parentheses right here and basically that'll allow you to um, just change the look of, of the search bar and I'll definitely get get to that in a later tutorial, so um, just keep up with my channel and subscribe. And so now whenever you create a DIV, you always need to end it. So that's how you end it. Now in between these, what we're going to put is just some form code. So now you're going to type form space action equals quote. And this is going to be your website domain. I'm just going to do uh, example.com. And then just end it. And after the dot com, you want to make sure you could always do slash search dot php, but you don't have to do it. But it always works. And so now you always need to end the bracket. And so now we're going to type input type equals text. So what this does is it basically it tells the computer um what type of text you want the user to type into it. So if you change the input type to password, then once they typed, it would just be a bunch of black dots. But then if you just type in regular text, then that'll um, then it'll change it just to regular text as well. And for the name, we're just going to do search as well. Now for the placeholder, this is just a really minor thing you do, but it can really make your website seem a lot more um, professional. So the placeholder basically is, you know how if you go to search bars and it already has um, stuff filled out in it, like enter keyword here or something like that, this is what a placeholder is. So now um, for this pla for the placeholder for a search bar, what we're going to type is just um, enter keyword here, dot, 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 and then just end it, whoops, slash end it. And always make sure you do a backslash for when you um, end a bracket. And again, we're going to do input type equals quote submit. And this basically tells the computer what type of button it's going to be. And this says it's just going to be a submit button that's going to submit a form to a different server. And um, so it's really important that you include this. And for value, this is uh, basically what you want the button to say. And I'm just going to write search here and then of course you need to end it and then here you need to type slash a backslash form so that you end the form and whoops you don't need the backslash there actually sorry and so um, now you can see always when you create a, an HTML like <clears throat> like a little HTML um, paragraph I guess you would call it always make sure that you have endings for your tags so this HTML would be considered one tag so make sure that when you start a tag such as HTML you end the tag down here so I started body ended body started div ended div started form ended form and then started input and for input you would end it by doing the backslash over here and same thing for this input so now that we've saved it now that we've uh, typed everything out we can save it so do file save as and if you're using, um, I'm using a program called Text Wrangler, Wrangler, and I'll use a 
and I'll put a link down in the description of how you can get it. it I, I got mine for free, so it's a really good software. Um, it's just really simple and easy to use. And I'm just going to save mine as search tutorial. Um, make sure you ha include .html so that browsers know how to open it. And it's not just a regular text file. And so now if you go into your internet browser, and then just go to file, then open file. And I'm going to just search for mine, search tutorial. Then you can see that this is the search button. So if, I, if I'm a user, then I would just type in what I wanted to search and press enter. But it's not going to work right now because I don't have the domain up yet. But this is just really the building blocks of just creating a search bar. And later on um, in my latest tutorials, I'll be sure to include how to just change the color of the search bar and just make it look really professional. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to like like and comment and just all the above i thank you guys again so much for watching and uh be sure to watch my other videos and i have a playlist actually for all my other html videos so just you know click the playlist right here all right thank you guys so much for watching and peace